Avelino Rivera. I'm here with New Vinci. We are at Press Camp uh, here in 2011. We are here showcasing our new New Vinci M360. Um, the product uh, New Vinci has been out for a few years now. We are now on our third generation of the hub with some very substantial uh, improvements uh, over the previous generations. Um, initially, the uh, New Vinci hub was invented by uh, a tinkerer and inventor in Southern California who wanted to build the world's fastest uh, bicycle and beat the land speed record. Um, he saw the real um, impetus or, or problem uh, being the gaps between particular gears. So he started doing a lot of research on CVTs and he came up with some very uh, novel ideas that would allow a CVT or continuously variable transmission to be integrated um, into a bicycle. So this is the first, uh, second generation of our hub, um, but it operates um, basically around a series of tilting balls that as you change the contact diameter, you're effectively changing um, your different ratio. Um, a lot of the improvements that come with the N360 have to do with the weight and the size. Um, this second generation was a little over eight pounds. Um, this new one has roughly 30% uh, less weight, so we're right about 5.4 pounds. Um, a large part of that came with um, parts reductions, roughly uh, 160 parts um, were removed. Um, there have been some material substitutions, um, and it's gotten much more refined um, for the bicycle application. Um, Part of the real value of the NuVinci system is that as you're using it on your bicycle and you're shifting through gears, it's as easy as changing the volume on a radio. You don't miss any particular gears. You don't. Uh, it doesn't sound as if you need to change a gear. Um, it's a very, very quiet system so that when you're actually riding on the city streets on a bicycle, the, really the only thing that you hear is uh, the rubber on the road. Um, it's also a very low maintenance system, so for commuters, um, that's a big plus. It's even uh, lower maintenance than the other internally geared hubs by nature of not being an index system. Um, so you never really have to do any of the fiddling with the cable adjustments and tension. So that basically your bicycle works as good as it did that first day if you're a year down the road, five years down the road. So it makes it uh, a, a vehicle that you can really get a lot of utility things done and go from A to B and you don't really have to worry about whether or not um, your bicycle um, is functioning properly. Can I just ask, do you build this up as an aftermarket item? Is a consumer doing that or is this always going to be on a, on a bicycle? So it is currently available at aftermarket here in the States um, through uh, JNB, SBS and Quality Bicycle Supply. Um, some of those distributors make complete wheels so it makes the whole retrofit for the dealer that much easier. Basically, you're able to remove a lot of the, the derailleur or the previous transmission. And once you set up the shifter, there's really not that much to it. Um, we'll also be showcasing some new, here at Press Camp, some new 2012 models that incorporate the N360. Um, some of those models are the Novara Gotham, um, which is a belt-driven commuter. Um, the Jameis Commuter 4 will also be integrating the N360 for 2012. Um, Breezer will continue. Uh, to put the N360 on the uh, one uh, commuter of the year in Bicycling Magazine and they will now add an additional model to the lineup which will be the Breezer Beltway which will also make use of the gate system. Um, we've also got the Dehan Mu N360 which will integrate uh, the hub and um, will get us into the folding bike market um, and again it, it brings a lot of benefits obviously to the the commuter bikes that we get put on, in particular the, the folding bikes, it makes it very simple. Um, there's nothing external to get damaged in the transport. Um, bike Friday, a hand-built uh, bicycle company here in North America, will also make use of it on two of their models, the uh, New World Tourist and the Ticket. Um, there's also an e-bike company here in North America called Bodie Bicycles, who will be using N360 exclusively. Um, those bicycles are a front hub motor um, that is very sleek looking and uh, it's a very aesthetically pleasing uh, electric bicycle. Um, also the Jameis Commuter 4 
um, which was last year's uh, number two commuter of the year, um, will also be using the N360. So we're excited about uh, a lot of the momentum that we're gaining here in the States and uh, hope to see it uh, get to where Europe is. I'm guessing that Europe and the Netherlands and Germany are a much easier sell for this kind of product. Absolutely. Uh, you know, here in North America, um, we are, our populace is gradually getting to realize that for both health, environmental, and now with uh, gasoline being very expensive, that bicycles are a very good alternative for a lot of those short commutes that people are making, those you know, under five mile commutes, that uh, it ends up making a lot of sense money-wise, health-wise, and uh, that it's good for the environment. So the principles of the uh, Nuvinci system, though novel, are relatively simple. The device operates on a series of rotating balls. The power path comes in from the free hub body to the driver to what we call a traction ring, which rotates these balls in unison. These balls then react against an identical traction ring that is connected to the hub and eventually the wheel. It is the ability to tilt these balls back and forth and to change the contact diameter of where they are touching on the planets. Simply the ability to do that is what allows you to create a 360% ratio, um, which is more than a lot of the other internally geared hubs. And the power path is much simpler than you find in a lot of the, the, the other comparable internally geared hubs. So basically less stuff that could potentially break. The one on my left is the Nuvinci N171. It was a second generation. This is the one that's about eight and a half pounds. This one here is the new Nuvinci N360. It lost about 30% of its weight, or about three pounds, uh, making it about 5.4 pounds. It also got smaller in diameter by about 17%. Um, the shifting is also quite different between the two. It used to, on the N171, require one and a half turns to get from full underdrive to full overdrive. That has been cut in half for the new N360. You are able to shift in three quarters of a turn to get to the full ratio. Um, you're also able to shift much better under load. Um, and the shifting system is much easier to assemble and uh, disengage in the event of a flat.